this is day one of my road trip to Indiana. I am about a third of the way through Nevada and so far so good. Lots of nothing to see. I am en route to Logan, Utah. I'm going to pass through Salt Lake City and then going up north a little bit to stay with um, one of my really good friends and I'll be in Logan, Utah for a day to just relax after this 10, 11, 12 hour road trip. I'm at Utah now and it is super pretty and beautiful and sunny and there's, I'm assuming, salt flats, but it's beautiful. day three. I am leaving Utah and going and heading over to Cheyenne, Wyoming. So I just stopped on the side of the road and looked at Bear Lake and I have never seen anything so, so blue. I am already so overwhelmed on day three, but it is it is beautiful, you guys. Um, if you ever get a chance to visit Bear Lake up on the Utah-Idaho border, it is really worth it. It's, it's incredible. I just got to Cheyenne, Wyoming, checked into my motel, and I am done for the day at about 3.30 p.m. on what, Sunday, today's Sunday. The drive through Wyoming wasn't too bad. It was very quiet, it's not a lot of things to see, a little bit uneventful, but there was that canyon at Green River. All in all, good day, seven hours of driving, um, a lot of nice people along the way, there was nothing too crazy and I stayed safe and everything was fine. I'm gonna go downtown, get some food and hopefully see the capital and whatever else. Almost halfway done with the road trip. So I just got back from downtown and quick update, there's absolutely nothing to do in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Maybe because it's a Sunday and things are closed, but Anyway, I'm tired and it's been a long driving day and I'm going to have to do it all again tomorrow. Another seven hour drive to Nebraska, so good night. Good morning everyone, it is day four. I'll be driving through Nebraska all day, heading to Lincoln, Nebraska. Here we go. for a bathroom break somewhere about an hour and a half away from Lincoln, Nebraska and let me tell you the humidity hits you like a ton of bricks. I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska now. Just checked into my motel. It's very hot and humid as you can tell from my hair. I didn't really expect the hot humid temperature but 
we make do with what we have. Lincoln is such a cute little city. There's a lot of different trees. It's so green. It's very spacious. It reminds me a lot of Las Vegas. There's a garden downtown that I really want to see, so I'm gonna go ahead there after um, dehumidifying a lot of this. But yay! I have made it to Nebraska and I am officially more than halfway done with this road trip. I was talking to the people at the front desk and I told them that I am driving from California to Indiana and moving for school and they were shocked that I was doing it by myself but you know it makes me feel good that that it's a feat that not a lot of people do. quick takeaways. Lincoln is absolutely beautiful. There's vegetation everywhere. Downtown is flourishing and it's beautiful and it's green. I went to the Sunken Garden. It's this little hidden gem. It was gorgeous. The capital was great. Overall, Lincoln is very reminiscent of Sacramento, so I felt more at home here than I have and other places that I've been to so far. Though the humidity made me go back to my room. It is so hot and humid out here, but it's beautiful. I loved seeing the trees, all the different colors. I swear that the plants have a different kind of green here, but I do have to sleep at some points and I'm just gonna call it a night. But tomorrow I go to St. Louis, Missouri. More than halfway done. Can't wait to go home. and I'm off to St. Louis. I'm at Arrowhead Stadium trying to find Patrick Mahomes. Where you at? So I didn't find Patrick Mahomes, but I did get this really cool cheeks hat. it would be fun to do a video update amongst the bushes in the Missouri Botanical Gardens. So here I am. I am in St. Louis, Missouri, finally. One of my last stops, I'll be heading to Bloomington tomorrow, but tonight I will be staying with my roommate's parents in Chesterfield. The drive was gorgeous. This botanical garden is, I am in awe of how much there is to see and how beautiful it is and i only got to see just a little snippet of it so it's a beautiful day a beautiful place and i am so happy today was probably the one of the better days of the road trip oh look at my little friend look at my little friend hi It is day six, and I am finally off to Bloomington. The drive through Indiana was gorgeous. 
It was hilly, there was lots of trees, it really felt like I was driving through a Walmart version of Yosemite. favorite thing about IU is all the limestone in the buildings and the gothic architecture. Look at that. IU is stunningly gorgeous. I just walked through campus and visited all the different places that I would be needing to go to for the next upcoming couple of years and I made the right choice I think. Um, yesterday I settled in and I'm getting my room set up so I haven't shown you guys that yet but I will very very soon starting to feel like home. home and this is going to be home for the next few years. I couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm.